Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Williams and I'm going to wait just a second to make sure I have one viewer so I know this is working. I have like my phone set up on my computer so I'm trying to make sure it's steady and connection is great and everything. So if someone could shoot me one little comment to let me know all is well. I'm trying to make sure. Okay, um, I saw a heart so hopefully that means that everything is good. Um, so first off, I just wanted to say thank you all so, so much for tuning into this event. We're having so, so much fun, and everyone has been absolutely amazing. Um, their stories are absolutely incredible. And so, like I said, my name is Hannah Williams. I am from Houston, Texas, and I am 24 years old. So I have actually been in the business a bit shorter than most of the women and um, most of the women who have shared tonight. I have been a consultant for a little over a year and a half, and... So I'm 24, I started this business when I was 22 and fresh out of college. I was, um, I had first heard about this opportunity basically two years ago. And so first heard about it, but I just felt like I was too busy of a college student. I laugh at that now because I had no idea how much busier I was going to get. But I was interviewing for my first full-time job and that overwhelmed me. And so it makes me laugh now for sure. But um, when... So basically, I had started working at a law firm as the marketing director uh, fresh out of college. So I had graduated from Texas A&M University in uh, College Station, Texas, and quickly realized that like I loved my full-time job, and I loved what I did, and I loved people that I worked with, but at the same time, I left work every day feeling a little bit unfulfilled. And what I mean by that is that I, I saw a little whoop, that's awesome, whoop, okay, um, and so I left work every day feeling like I wanted to help people in a way that I wasn't currently at my full-time job, and so of course I was doing great with marketing and helping people in the marketing aspect, but um, my life goal, per se, I guess you can call it, had always been having a job that I felt like I was helping others and really making a difference, and so I, at that time, um, a little background on me and how I grew up. So I grew up with my dad playing Major League Baseball. And so that kind of, um, growing up in that mindset of, you know, we traveled a ton. I saw my mom, you know, travel with five kids and try to do us the whole homeschooling thing. Because um, half the year we lived in Houston, where we're from, and then the other half we would travel the day school ended to go wherever my dad was. And so I'll explain why I'm sharing this in a second. But growing up with the whole traveling so much and trying to figure out what worked for us and all those things. Um, so fast forward, I was, I am dating a minor league baseball player. And so we've been dating for four years. And at that time, we'd been together for two years. And I knew that um, his goal was to play in the minor leagues. And so um, with that being said, I knew that, I didn't want to have a job, um, you know, for the years to come, like once we got married, that I would have to be in Houston and, you know, make the income that we needed to help support us while he was away and not be together as a family. And so that was also in the back of my head as far as finding something else that I could do on the side would that would allow me to do that in the future. And so a um, little fun fact, in college I had a jewelry business, and I absolutely loved that as well. It was so, so much fun. Um, but kind of how Mackenzie said she had her own business, for me it was the same kind of deal. I ended up, you know, just trying to fit my little life around, like, my jewelry business. And I realized at one point that, like, it was no longer fun, the fun hobby that I had started. It felt like just such a huge priority in my life that took away from, like, me t my time with friends or, you know, my time doing whatever I'd wanted to do. And so I didn't think that I wanted to start back my jewelry business when I was working full-time as a marketing director. I thought that that would take away even more time from my family and more time from, you know, what I wanted to do. And so I felt like everything I was brainstorming that I could add to my plate was just not fitting in. And so around the same time, my mom actually reminded me of my friend Natalie, who had talked to me a few months before, and my mom at this point was using the products. And... A little fun fact about my mom is that she had used everything under the sun for skincare. Uh, she was a big skincare guru, and I knew that her making this big of a deal about products was a big deal. And she was like, Hannah, like, I love these. Like, people are going to want these. They're amazing. Um, you know, you should at least get the knowledge from your friend about what it's like to be a consultant instead of, you know, prejudging in your mind what it was. So I was like, okay, you're right. 
So I talked to my friend, and she quickly explained how, um, someone mentioned it earlier, but how there's no inventory, how you don't have to host a party every time you want to sell a product or tell someone about the company. And she was sharing all these things, how it's all done online, and you have a website, and your customers um, get products from your website, and it's shipped directly to them. And I was just thinking, wow, like this is exactly what I was looking for. And so on this phone call, I truly, it was truly like an aha moment, like something truly, I don't even, I can't even explain it. It clicked for me. I knew right then and there that this was what I wanted to do. And so that was a year and a half ago. And I joined that night on the biggest business kit that I had, I had saved my um, college graduation money and I spent that on my kit. And I honestly have never looked back. So since then, I have reached um, level five, and so that's the top two percent of the company, and that has been such such a fun blessing. And I um, work this business full time from home or from wherever else I am when I'm traveling, uh, visiting my boyfriend here and with my family here. And um, I have a little sister who is 15, so I love going to her volleyball games and being so involved in everything that my family does. And I also love knowing that one day when I am traveling full time that I will still be able to make an income directly from my phone. And so, you know, if you have a situation where, you know, either you or your husband or your boyfriend has to travel a ton and you're looking for like a secondary income, maybe just more friends or maybe just something for yourself or whatever it is, uh, just know that this opportunity truly can fit into any kind of schedule, whether you're a college student, whether you're a young professional, whether you're a young mom or a mom or a working mom or a mom who goes to school, like literally whatever your life could be or is, like this business can fit into it. And that is why I am so, so passionate about, uh, passionate about sharing with other people um, for the simple fact of I want them to have you know, the time freedom that I have. And I am so passionate about sharing with other people and I feel like I'm helping others with this opportunity more so than I could have been with anything else that I would have done. And so I just can't say, you know, enough great things about starting this business and for those watching I really 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 hope that this spoke to you and just gave you that little bit of confidence to have in yourself and just ask yourself like what if you know like what if you started and gave your, yourself a shot and you know didn't care what other people think or for over whatever for whatever reason you're not doing it just like let that go and you know just have confidence in yourself and give it your full shot because I promise you you will look back in a few years and just think oh my gosh like this is the absolute most amazing thing I could have done for myself because that is certainly what I have done and I know that all the leaders who have spoken so far that is exactly what they have done too and so thank you all so so much for letting me share with y'all this has been so much fun and also so frightening um, but that's also something that I wanted to add is that I would have never done this in a million years before starting this company this would have terrified me I was the girl in seventh grade who would literally get like shaking anxiety um, from speech class I would get like I would almost throw up. I would, I would cry so hard. And now for me, like this still terrifies me, but I know that in order to have personal growth and the growth that we all want, you know, you have, to, you have to step out of your comfort zone and that's where the magic happens. And so things like this still terrify me, but I have grown up so much in the past year and a half being a business owner and it will do the same for you, y'all. It will give you so many different, you know, positive things in your life. So wanted to add that too, but thank y'all so much for letting me share tonight with y'all. And I know you're going to love who's speaking next. And so, you know, just thank you. Thank you to my team who's commenting. I love y'all so much and have a good night guys. Bye. Bye.